doobly doobly do. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Choose News Gaming. Hi, I'm the Jenny Jenny Jordan by one. Also known as Marlow. And welcome to Marlow's Mobile Monday. This is a new thing I'm trying out. Basically, my plan is I will pick up a mobile game, if it's free, and I will play it for a week. And then I will. I basically, because my phone has screen record, because it's Android, um, I will screen record some of the footage of my gameplay. And then I will bring it back here, present, and ex show my findings. Now, first things first, the game has real-time loadings. It's shown there. It takes 59 minutes and 10 seconds to do that upgrade to those purple bubble things. Um, and this is annoying. Uh, I have not tried yet to see if you can alter the date and time on your phone uh, to ch to like speed up so like a hack is you could update you could move the time and date on your phone forwards by one hour and then that would solve the loading issues but the problem is this is synced up to the internet because it's multiplayer well, it's not really multiplayer it's just other people come and ransack your base um, and this means I probably I, I, I probably think that that means you can't do that. Uh, the second thing, as is shown on the screen, you pay real money for gems, which is what I can understand as the real currency of the game, because you use gems to, as you can see there, fill up your storages of gold and fill up your elixir, which apparently is for power and money and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, so you see, you use gems, which you can buy for real money, um, to buy stuff, and then that enables you to buy more stuff. But then again, your gems, you need builder's hut to build stuff, but of course it costs 500 gems to build the hut, to get to buy the hut, so you can't do that. Uh, I think I got gift, I think I earned a second hut or something. Um... But yeah, it's annoying. So it's at the moment. Okay. <laughs> um, at the moment, I the game is not on my good side because you pay real money for gems, which is the real currency of the game because you need the gems to buy. You can use the gems to buy more money, which is fill up your gold storages and fill up your elixir. Now, moving on. Right, okay, so this is the kind of um, battle-y thing which you can use to start the game when level up your troops and stuff. Well, not really level up the troops, but get practice at um, doing the battle stuff. And as you can see, what you have to do is put down your troops and they walk in and they get blown up by the cannons and the mortars, but they do get your money from the gold reserves that that base has. Um, I would use, I did this quite a lot in the game because I used it to practice um, raids and stuff because uh, as of, as soon as you are able to be raided, you are raided, which is really annoying because people, level 50 people who have invested a billion pounds into the game will come and raid your base and your what a level I think it was level two at that point oh no level five yeah I was level five at that point and people level like 50 will come and raid your base which is really stupid because you can't defend and my defenses were crap then because I was trying to get I was trying to level up my town hall so I could get more walls and protect my base oh new one yep so I'm doing another one of the harder levels as you can see uh, 2,000 loot available on the gold coins and then 6,000 purple stuff. Uh, this purple stuff is called elixir and I don't know what the point in it was. Really, it's just there for uh, the troops training in your barracks. It's kind of useful, I guess. Um, yeah, those troops were kind of stupid. If they went in and go through the wall, it was kind of a good idea. Um, I ran out of stuff. Don't go that way. Oh well, you're always gonna die. Told you. That's kind of a cool base. I wonder how you do that. Yeah, clever. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, the rules of this, though, is once I have uploaded the video, I delete the game, which is what I'm going to do, because I don't like this game at all. It's got real-time loading, which I hate. You pay money to get better stuff, which I also hate. And it's just a pile of crap. I mean, yes, the graphics do look pretty. I'll give it that. I'll give it five points for pretty graphics. Um, but all the other stuff, not so much. Um, yeah. So I, I'm realising that I'm running out of things to say because I recorded... I recorded like eight clips and really, as I look at it now, I've only used three. But yeah. So, the ranking system. How it is going to work. If I just get some more documents for this. Um... So yeah, the ranking system. I, uh, you get a to each each game will get a total pointage. You get points for gameplay, um, cost, uh, graphics, and storage. Now, uh, gameplay means how good the game plays, and that, and how well it's laid out, and all the UI and everything, and how much it takes up the screen. I will give it the gameplay, yeah, uh, that actually, UI gets a separate section, the user interface. Um, on this game, the UI is very good for a mobile game. It's big, where you need it to be big, but then on this screen, you've got the small sections, but the main screen for you to, top it, for you to move around and touch. So you only get five out of five. Uh, I know I just knocked the microphone. Uh, storage. Uh, I'll have to look at that in a second. Uh, but that's how much space the game takes up on your phone, tablet, device, whatever you want to use this for. Um, yeah. So that's how much space the game takes up on your phone, and if the game adds adds extra stuff to your storage. So if it's like a hundred megs for download um, and then install the hundred megs but then as you play you run up more stuff and the game needs to store it for some stupid reason so you end up with a one gigabyte game file then you know it's gonna lose marks uh, I'll check that out later graphics I'll give it a five because you know it's pretty good it does it's not the best graphics in the world um, I just went and bought some stuff uh, on clip 7 um, it's pretty good for a game. It's pretty good for a mobile game. I like it. It's cartoony, so I'll give it five. It's cost naught uh, because it the cost of the game means so the overall cost. So if I were to sit down, play the game properly, and buy extra stuff, then I think I would be poor within the hour because stuff, as you looked back in the clips, is twenty twenty or thirty quid. You could pay twenty or thirty quid for gems which then would give you more money because you use the gems to buy money um, and I just that's 30 quid that you're just going to use on a mobile game and seeing as it's a mobile game 30 quid should not be spent the whole point of a mobile game is just pick up and play on the bus or something um, when I go back to st uh, stuff when I go back to school next week uh, a mobile game really comes into existence because I will be getting the bus which means that I will have to pick up this game and play it for an hour because that's how long bus rides take not to be it's not something that you want to be playing all the time because this thing will give you notifications when you're being raided um, I think there's a clip of that some somewhere uh, maybe that didn't save you get clip you, you get notifications when your base is being raided uh, when things are finished, it's basically a never-ending game. Uh, that why so gameplay. I'll give it a two. So yeah, that is that, and I think this is a good place to end it here. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you later, alligators. Torah.